Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Today we are going to be doing a mommy morning routine. I actually ended up doing a whole day routine. That is not what I intended, but it just happened that way. So I figured to make a good long video for you guys. You are going to be spending the day with me, but I'm going to be focusing on what I do in the morning and then it'll just trickle throughout the day. When I filmed this video, I was actually expecting our sixth baby, but unfortunately we lost that sweet baby. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and get this video out for you because it is basically what I do every day as a mom of five. So I am trying to get Noah to give me a little kiss and he refuses and I am going to go ahead and make their breakfast. So the kids will usually eat waffles, cereal, or bagels for breakfast. I don't usually put Nutella on them, but because we haven't had it in quite some time, I decided to let Noah have a little bit of treat and he is so excited as you can see on his face. So I will usually shower the night before on this particular time I did. So I just got up, threw on some clothes and brushed my teeth and started doing the things I had to do for the kiddos. So Josiah is going to be having a blueberry bagel with strawberry cream cheese. If you guys have never tried that combo, it is so good. I highly recommend it. I like to stick to a gluten-free lifestyle. I am not perfect. I make my mistakes, but I will usually have the Canon or Canyon blueberry bagels. Those are my favorite and the kids are having just regular Linder's bagels with some Nutella. While the kids enjoy their breakfast and watch a little bit of Minecraft on YouTube, I am going to be making my bed. I make my bed every single day. It's something that I always do. I don't feel like I can even feel accomplished with my day until my bed is made. So I take care of this when the kids are taken care of, or sometimes I do it right when I wake up. It just depends. But it also helps me not get back into the bed. You guys know I struggle with anxiety and depression, and there are times where I just want to crawl back into my bed, but it helps that it's all made and taken care of of and the room is tidied up so I do not do that I, it keeps the momentum going in the morning so that's a little tip for you guys if you struggle like I do make that bed and get in the shower and do what you need to do and you'll feel so much better so I have some errands I need to run today so my son Drew is going to watch the kids for about 30 minutes 25 to 30 minutes he is 15 and I'm going to run some quick errands I do not like to take them with me first thing in the morning usually because we are still in the midst of the quarantine and I don't want to get them out in the stores because let's just be honest, kids touch everything. Okay guys, I am picking up my groceries. They are going to put those in the back right now. I'm at Walmart pickup. So I'm going to get all my groceries and then I'm going to take them home. You... Hey. Yeah. Okay, no, I'm going to make sure you're checked in those uh, again. Yeah. Uh, what's the name of the order? Lynn White. Lynn White. W-H-I-T-E, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I apologize. We have some new employees out here. That That's okay. Add people, but I, I'm going to add you right now. That's and fine. Then, um, as soon as my person on the inside gets it all good to go, I'm going to go ahead and yeah. get it. Yeah. Uh, we'll no rush. Thanks. Okay, the groceries are in, and I think I am going to try to get a coffee. I have so much that I need to do today. Um, the realtor came, and we kind of went through the house, and I keep looking in the viewfinder. Sorry. He came through the house and I have a lot that we have to do. Like he wants me to paint all the blue arches. He wants, I have to fix the wall in the front room. I got to paint the baseboards. I got to finish the cabinet, bottom cabinets. Um, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done in the house before we can even put it on the market. So I'm going to go to Starbucks and try to get something. Cold brews are not working for me right now. They make me feel so unwell and like I can handle a cold brew y'all. I can't handle a cold brew, y'all. Not anymore. And I really don't want to get pulled over. Don't pull me over, please. Don't pull me over. Okay, cool. <laughs> I need to renew my license. <laughs> I 
it's expired. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna try a little something at Starbucks, y'all. We'll give it a shot. I mean, what can I get at Starbucks that isn't coffee? Ooh. Another sad thing. I went to put my hair up in a cute little top knot. You know, I wanted to be so fancy and wear the cutest top knot ever. And I had a bald spot, so I had it is. I literally was like angry. <laughs> anyway. All right. Oh, truly, truly hard seltzer. Don't go to my house. You're not welcomed at my house. No. I honestly need to clean up my car. Okay. So, I had a phone call with the loan officer. Um, so, I wanted, I'm trying two drinks today and see if I can get any sort of energy out of them. I got a pink drink with no ice. Always ice on the side because that way they will fill it. Let me see if I can get you to focus. That way they can fill it all the way up. I mean, I want every last bit of my overpriced drink okay i really really do and then i got an ice latte with one pump of caramel again i filled it up to the top there you go it's filled up to the top and that is with almond milk and here's my ice so i'm gonna try it. I'm really nervous honestly Let's see how it makes me feel i need to get things done I gotta go and get <clears throat> the contract signed and put all kinds of get like send him all kinds of documents. And this process is going fast. <clears throat> That's good. I like them. They don't blow my mind by any means, but I like them. Round two. I still feel tired. <laughs> I'll make my kids unload these groceries. Because that's what they're supposed to do. Okay. All right. Do you guys, oh gosh, do you guys ever have like, you wake up in the morning and you have all these things that you need to do? I keep looking in the viewfinder, so sorry. There are all these things that I need to do and then I get home and I'm like, my bed is calling. That's how I feel. Another sad story. I ordered something from Target. It said delivered, yet it never came to my house. Like what kind of silliness is that? Okay. What kind of silly is this? Is that? I'm in the house. I'm going to show you real quick what we got from Walmart. Pick up. Just do it like a really quick little grocery haul. I have been craving Lucky Charms like nobody's business and they're gluten free. So I'm not super strict with gluten free, but I need to be or it bothers my asthma. So I got this. Let me flip you around. Got some of these. These are, wait. Oh, these are just packets. Yeah, this is just packets, but these are really good. You just throw this on the meat in the crock pot and it's delicious or in your mashed potatoes or rice. So good. Got some Caesar dressing, some fruit for Isabella, more fruit for Bella, broccoli cheddar soup for Isabella. Craving some Fig Newtons, bread, Michelangelo's. Um, this is for Chris, a toothbrush. This looks so good, yum. These for the kids some pizza as always golden potatoes lots of rice bacon i got some ramen noodles but they did i only had three so they gave me these as a substitute which is fine over here i've got a whole bunch of tater tots i'm going to make a breakfast casserole salt and vinegar chips romaine lettuce ground beef ground beef these are the best and i mean best gluten-free um chicken tenders in the world. So good. Frosted flakes with our spaghetti. Some creamy ranch. This isn't the one I ordered as a substitute, but it's still pretty good. More coffee, gluten-free pretzels, and then um, Rotel butter, creamer, 
some of these breakfast bars right there. Let me get you focused. Breakfast bars, chips, salsa, and some like flatbread for Chris to take to lunch. Super not fancy. I don't remember how much all this was. Um, with everyone being home, I will say, oh, that's empty. With everyone being home, boys eat me out of house and home. I don't know if girls do the same, but it is kind of insane, if I'm being honest. Um, this is the cold brew. I don't have the heart to throw it away. It's just sitting there. So. And now I'm gonna focus on organizing um, all of our like little snacks. Well, I organized all the snacks. I used to see other people do this and I thought, why would you do this? My kids would just like come in here and make the biggest mess. But one thing that I have realized is kind of like a grocery store. If everything is lined up and looks super duper organized, they're more likely to grab it because it's here. You wouldn't go into a grocery store with everything just like shoved on shelves and just so disorganized. You wouldn't know what to buy and most likely you would probably go somewhere else. So if I have like all the snacks neatly organized, and not only does it kind of please my OCD tendencies, but my kids are more likely to grab it because it's right here, it's on the forefront, and they're not having to dig for it. So this is like a little tip I have. It seems kind of like a waste of time because it might get messy, but when your pantry is really nicely organized, not only do you not purchase things that you don't need, this is where we just put all of our bread and I'm gonna put their, these here. Not only do you not purchase stuff that you don't need, but your kids are able to come and grab things quickly. So my kids helped me put away some of the groceries. I haven't gone anywhere yet. I wanted to make sure everyone had everything. Um, sometimes when I need to run into the store, I don't wanna take the kids for a couple of reasons, especially with quarantine. I don't want them out in the stores at all because they touch everything and it's just less safe. So I'm home from picking up Isabella. Um, everyone's had their lunch. I made a little homemade fried rice. It was so good. I took last night's rice, um, got the skillet with an egg and some olive oil, just scrambled it up real good. Added the rice, let it brown for just a minute, and then took some frozen sweet peas and frozen carrots, like little, little itty bitty. It was actually in like a vegetable medley, but I just picked them out. And then I added a splash of some liquid aminos. Hear me when I say, Thank you, baby. That was the best fried rice I've ever eaten. If I sold that in a Chinese place, they would, or a Chinese restaurant, people would be ordering that, okay? The liquid aminos, best fried rice ever. So Noah and I are gonna play cards now. We're gonna play cards now. <laughs> so get now work, water. What kind of game are we gonna play? Go fish, go fish, go fish. Guess those are yours. Guess they're mine. Because, because they were, um, don't make it out like that so I kind of see it. Okay, are you ready? Um, yeah, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now those are in the middle. Okay. okay, I go first. Okay. How many eights? Okay. Do you have any? Do you have any fives? Fives. I think fives. So. Yep. Only one. Wait. Do we? So we can make it right without a fight. You know, no, no. Imagine what would happen if we did it right. Noah is fun to play with because sometimes he'll like change the rules. I just kind of let him go with it usually. All right, buddy, come on. How many seven? Just put it in here. In Do here I have, have any sevens? Yeah, just put it in there. Yep. I have seven. I'm going to the bathroom. You gotta go potty? I'm going to potty. 
how that fried rice was on point. So let me tell you how I make my rice real quick. I have this propped up on my knee, by the way. Let me tell you how I make my rice. So I take long grain rice. Um, brand doesn't matter, but it can't be basmati. It can't be, it has to be regular long grain rice. And then I heat up about a tablespoon of butter. And then I take fresh garlic. You can use any kind of garlic. Just use garlic. Preferably real. Um, but it can be refrigerated or cut up or whatever. And then I like to get that in the butter and brown it a little bit in a pan. And then I like to take, you can do a bouillon cube, a chicken bouillon cube, or I do okay. like the chicken bouillon powder that doesn't have the MSG. I mix that up for like 30 seconds. You don't want to burn your garlic. And then I take about a cup of rice, put it in there, and then I just kind of brown it. I let it get completely coated in the butter and the garlic and all that stuff. And I let it sit there. I like... I'm constantly moving it for about 30 to 60 seconds, just depending on how I feel. The heat is not extremely high. It's medium, but it's definitely cooking it. So it's, it's got some heat on, I guess, medium heat. And then I would take about a cup or two cups Mom. of, you ready? Once, let me tell them, two cups of chicken broth, put it in there and then pull it down to simmer and let it do its thing. <sighs> You do not need to add salt on anything and let it cook. And then you can fluff it with the fork. Don't ever stir it. It'll make it sticky. Um, fluff it with the fork until the, the liquid is gone. And it is the best ah, rice I ever. Saw it. Add some carrots or peas. Um, add like a little bit of like spaghetti noodles. I know it sounds crazy. It's like vermicelli noodles in there. You can make like a rife peel off. It's super duper good. But this time we just used the leftover and did the other stuff that I just told you. The fried rice. Okay, Noah, you ready? Let's do this. Okay. I Oh, I think it's mustard. I gave you a seven. You said, do you have a seven? And I gave it to you. <laughs> All right. Do no, you, I know what you have. My turn. Do you have any threes? I'm only one. Okay. Have any twos? Go fish. You think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. But I don't know that much about you What things you like and what you don't love your neighbors I was legit gonna be done with this but Chris just reminded me that I promised I would make lemon cake last week and I have yet to make it but I told him the reason why I didn't make it was because 
I didn't make it because I was going to add it to a video of summer clean and decorate. And I haven't had a moment to do that yet. So I'm going to be making this lemon cake real quick and I'm going to take y'all along with me. Make it. This is how you make the best lemon cake of all time. You take a box, perfectly moist French vanilla, amazing. You take a packet, lemon pudding, amazing. You mix the two, one second. Can you find me the lemon, the citrus for Actually, I have it. And if you're lucky, don't don't open it like a silly person like me, because that was just not the smartest thing to do. It's way close. You can't see me, babe. Honestly, I already did. Can you give me three large eggs? Three eggs. One cup of water. So uh, we don't have any vegetable oil, so Chris is running like four scum down the street to get some because he really wants this cake. But in the meantime, I'm gonna show you my little secret. You can do either you can do either lemon, but I couldn't find the lemon last time, so I did citrus fresh and oh my word. Yeah. One, two, So when you add the citrus fresh, it gives it like, it's like replacing almost having fresh orange peel in it. So it really brightens up this, but I call it just lemon cake, summertime lemon cake. And people don't even know, they're just like, what is that? It's so good. It's this. And then I will top it. I do like a rustic look with some lemon icing. It's so, so good. So I've got some eight inch pans right here. I have them heavily greased. Usually I like to have the um, one that has flour already in it, but I don't. I just have these. And then I'm gonna, once Chris brings me the oil, I'm gonna put that in there. It's a little sticky right now. I'm gonna separate the two. And then I cook them for about 29 minutes. I have to have a certain smell as soon. I mean, as soon as I can stick a knife in there and it comes back clean, I pull it out. I want it so, 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 so moist. I know people don't like that word. I don't mind moist. I hate chunky. It's one of those words I hate. Okay, moving on. So the more I started thinking about it, I'm like, you know what? It's a little too on the citrus side. I want to add a little more lemon. So I added three drops of lemon essential oils. I don't have any recipe, or I don't have any way of cooking. I just do everything to taste. That's how I do it. That's how my mama did it. That's how her mama did it. And that's how we all want to do it. So. You do what works for you. If you don't want that citrus flavor from like oranges and stuff like that, don't add it, just do lemon. It's got a little bit of a underlying zest, like lemon's hip, lemon zest. This is really, really good. But it definitely needed the lemon citrus oil. It brought it back to the lemon flavor. So now we just need a corn dust. Okay, we're back. Time for some oil. One third of oil, vegetable oil. One third what? One third what? Okay, this is the kids' favorite part. Liam, you want one? It's lemon. You don't have to read that tonight. Babe, give this to daddy. Give it to daddy. I will. Okay. No. Are you going to get 
Mm -hmm. And probably got rented or something. And if that led to the bear was. Hold on, I'll get it. I'll get it. Babe. Okay, okay. Here, get it off the microphone. There. Dishwasher, love. Oh, yeah. I think they would want to watch me that. The best part is when it's done. The best part is when it's done. All right. BB. Best part of waking up. All just hit your head. The best part of waking up. It's what is in your car. <laughs> but we bought new ones all. You didn't buy the Folgers? No. Where's the um? Oh. Where's the sun kiss? Huh? The switch. It's in your bag hanging on the back of your door. Whoa! Where I told you it was going to be? Babe, why don't you sing for our friends? What do you want me to sing? The you best sing? part of waking up. Oh, just in your car. Wow, Justin. Took a light. Killed it. I think you sounded just like CW, <laughs> not JT. C dubs. Is Hazel eating rice? Hazel, you eat nice. Sure. We always do. Ew! That grosses me out, man. All right. Ew! So come oh, on. We'll oh, be back in like okay. 49 minutes. Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay. On purpose? No way. No reason. FYI, that's hot. You're crying. I'm not crying. That one's slow mo. That was just me. Oh, is it good? Mm. Is it good just like the first time? Yes. And this is why you should have made it a week ago. You can just say thank you. Thank you. Love you. Say bye to our friends. Bye, friends. And what else do you say? Bye, YouTube. Um, I love my wife more than anything in the world. No, that's not what you say. That is what I say. <laughs> like and subscribe. Oh, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you. Hey, guys. <clears throat> hey, friends. Don't you think my answer was better? Tell them, Hazel. Don't forget to subscribe for more weekly vlogs. Bye, guys. Bye.